Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, if you are new to my channel, I would like to introduce myself to you. I am Din Din. I am a makeup lover and I am also a makeup artist. So, I, I love to create, you know, videos involving makeup, makeup tutorials, and the like. Yeah, so... Today, I would like to share with you guys this look that I created for you. This is inspired by the coming New Year's Eve 2018. Here we come. How time flies so fast, right? So guys, this is just a very simple and easy to do look. Actually guys, wala akong falsy, so this is just a, mis uh, a look with just mascara on. Warm tone eyeshadow paired with the traditional red lipstick i also tried to use just very affordable brands for you guys so i really hope you guys will love this please like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already gift nyo na sa akin this coming new year <laughs> and if you want to see more tutorials more makeup reviews and if you have questions just just comment down below and i will get back to you guys and so let's start with our tutorial so starting with foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I am in the shade 205 Natural Beige. So just put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to use my trusty beauty blender to blend it into my skin. So I'm spreading it evenly. And I love this foundation because it just gives the right amount of coverage. It is medium coverage. It can be buildable, but I love that it, it, it gives me, you know, that second skin look. And it's also oily skin friendly. It may not work for very, very oily skin. I have oily skin, but this works for me. I just need to, you know, do a little bit of little touch ups of powder in order for it to really work. And for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sad. If you have been watching my my videos you know that this is my favorite concealer i also use it on my clients it's very affordable but really good quality it's emollient creamy and it can be built to full coverage so i also put a little bit on my eyelids to prime my lids for eyeshadow so i decided to do my brows first before i blend the concealer into my skin i don't know i just feel like if you do that uh, mas kakapit yung concealer sa skin. So, parang baking, pero baliktad. Hehe. <laughs> so, I use the Maybelline Fashion Brow. Ito yung brow pencil nila na merong uh, retractable pencil on one end. And, in, and on the other end, it has a powder. I believe this is in the shade Natural Brown. So, I'm enjoying this brow pencil. It's a good product. I tested it out one, one time and hindi siya mabilis na bura. And it's also very convenient to use because it has powder na siya on one end. And I love the fact that I don't have to sharpen it. And then I blended the concealer into my skin using my beauty blender. So on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, eyelid, under eyes, and chin. So to set my makeup, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Translucent. So I just use this big fluffy brush to set the concealer and my foundation. Then for bronzer, I use the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in the shade 6 by Laura Mercier. It's actually, yes, a powder. It's their darkest shade in this line. So I just used it to bronze my skin a little bit. I like it because, you know, it gives me that bronze sun-kissed glow to the skin. And since it's an illuminating powder, but it doesn't have, you know, specks of glitter in it, it just gives you that nice, dewy, glowy, bronzy look. So, this is a little bit of a little bit expensive. I don't really recommend it, but since I use it on my clients as well, um, I love the finish that it gives to the skin. Using a tapered blending brush, I'm using that same powder on my eyes, actually to the crease of my eyes, just to give a little bit of transition and contour to the eye look. And guys, somebody here wants to say hi and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year daw, sabi ng shih tzu kong si Odi. So, 
in-approach niya ako kasi gusto niyang lumabas. Eyeshadow, I'm using the Juvia's Place Nubian Palette. I love the warm tones in this. Medyo nag-neglect ko tong palette na to kasi ang daming lumabas na bago pero ang ganda-ganda niya pa rin talaga. So using those two shades, I used the same tapered blending brush I used a while ago and put that on the crease of my eyes to add more transition to the look. Then using that darker brown shade, I am going to put that on the outer corners of my eyes and then into the crease to give it a little bit more depth. So I'm using a smaller blending brush for this. And then using that coppery shimmery shade in the palette, I am using that on the eyelids and I'm just going to apply it with my ring finger. So this shadow is my most favorite shadow in this palette. It's so pigmented, konting tapik lang ng ring finger ang pigmented na niya. And look at the pigmentation on my eyelids as well. And then to add some brightness to the eyes, I'm using that lighter shimmery shade. And ilalagay ko lang yon sa ibabaw ng coppery shade that I used earlier. So it gives that, you know, frosty coppery effect. Kasi since New Year's Eve look, medyo lagyan natin ng konting arte. Hehe. <laughs> And now to blend the colors again, I'm using that two shades that we used earlier as transition just to, you know, further enhance the crease and further blend out the shimmery shades that we used. And now for my lower lash line, I am going to use a pencil brush and I'm just going to apply the same shades that we used earlier. So from the lighter browns to the darker browns and then I'm using that coppery shade on the inner corners of my lower lashes. And now to highlight my inner corners, I'm using that light shimmery champagne pink shade in the palette. It's very beautiful. It's not your typical inner corner shade. It has a touch of pink to it. And now to smoke out the lash light, I'm using that dark, very dark gray-brown shade from the palette and I'm just going to smudge that shadow into my lash lines so if you have been watching my channel you know that I rarely use black eyeliners I am more of the of the kind of look na medyo smudged yung parang uh, hindi masyadong exact yung line parang soft smudge and diffused liner look yung mas bet ko since I have uh, hooded eyelids um, eyeliners don't really work for my eyes. They make it look smaller. And, and for blush, I'm using the Tarte Exposed Blush. So it's really well loved. I've hit pan. And I chose this blush because it's just a neutral tone blush. Since we have smoky eyes and we're using a, a red lip later on, I decided to use a neutral blush. Something that won't compete with the eyes and the lips. And for our red lipstick today, I'm using the BLK Cosmetics Intense Matte Lipstick in the shade Rave. So I'm loving this red. It's not too bright, it's not too cool, not too warm. It's just a true red. And I believe this will suit a lot of skin tones too. So I curled my lashes off cam and now I'm using the mascara by L'Oreal. It's, it's their Miss Manga False Lash Effect Waterproof Mascara. So I, I'm i really loving this. This is one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. It lasts long, it's smudge proof, and it really g gives my lashes that volume that I need. So that is it you guys. The look is done. So this is just a very easy warm toned red lip look. No falsies needed just your natural lashes but you can of course opt to use your falsies if you want but right now I'm kind of skipping it because you know sometimes I want to strike that balance if you have you know very bold lips I think you can just 
keep it easy on the eyes but it's really up to you so i really hope you guys love it and have a wonderful time with your family and friends this coming new year's eve and let us all forget the bad vibes from 2017 and start anew this 2018 so my new year's resolution will be to you know maybe make more videos on youtube <laughs> so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye thank you guys love you